So Pavel Sivakov has had an outrageous end of season. Uh, since you know he did he did Deutschland tour okay fourth GC, and then had some big training in between that, and then he did really well in Montreal, Toscana, Coffa Sabatini, and Memorial Marco Pantani. And the question is, can you see this form? You know, can you go, okay, his training's good, therefore he's going to win races. Now, I got sent this file a couple uh, weeks ago. Um, you know, I didn't make a video on it, but um, yeah, like, uh, we'll, we'll go through it. So, first of all, Sivakov, people reckon is 70 kilos. I think he could be a bit lighter. But for clarity, we will do 70 kilos just to, you know, illustrate this power file. Because it really is quite unbelievable. So this is in Gibrona, so not at altitude. So, um, you know, obviously you can see there's a lot of efforts, but first of all, just as half an hour at five watts per kilo with temp with some spikes, so you can see, um, you know, a couple 600 watt bursts. If we zoom into it, you can see exactly how long they were. 10 seconds there, so, so nothing, maybe for only five really. So nothing too crazy, but again, it's just, you know, um, add some uh, kilojoules into the mix and, you know, just it just makes, the first couple intervals not super fresh so interesting uh then just cruises um for a little bit you can see again like 230 normalized here but nothing too crazy then he, we got onto his first efforts which are again um just some over under so you can see averages 433 watts for 21 minutes now i know it's the shimano power meter so we always have to you know take some considerations into this but you know at the end of the day, we, we've got to work with what we've got to work with. Um, so, you know, they could be a little bit high. That's generally what you do. So he does three minutes about 5.6, uh, followed by one minute at seven watts per kilo. Uh, it's just really hard to find this far. There we go. Um, yeah, about 7.2 watts per kilo. So you can see he's oscillating between, you know, 390 and uh, 500. So again, that, that shows a real, a real level of fitness, being able to do spikes at 6.2 watts per kilo you know, after doing some kilojoules before, obviously five watts per kilo for him, and again, it's not, it's not too crazy. Now we go on to some 4020s. Again, this is um, a pretty Im impressive power file. Again, you can see the average power for 10 minutes is 463 watts, uh, which is very impressive. Um, I think we'll just have to go into the lap function of Strava to really illustrate. So you can see his 4020s um, start here, 500, 540, 525. You can see the offs are not that off, only 280. So sorry, like 280, so actually quite hard, 525, 530, 525, 531, 550, last one 600, so that, that's very impressive, you know, obviously 6.4 for 10 is impressive, but that kind of oscillation, if you look at the normalised, I reckon it won't be too crazy, just because, yeah, only, only 13 watts higher, just because um, the offs are actually not too off, but again, really impressive numbers here, so, you know, this is kind of decent, and then cracks out five minutes at seven and a half watts per kilo, um which is bonkers this is a five percent climb he's going 34 kilometers now so that again is, is really impressive you can see you've got the commonest segment as well so he's definitely going well and so you see this far and you go Pfft. he's in good condition isn't he he's in real good condition if you look at the end of this as well he's like sprinting at seven eight hundred watts like this last bit must be 651 watts for the last 36 seconds now that is real strong um, so yeah, it goes to show, can you predict power, um, you know, form? Only think maybe you kind of can. Like again, you see 20 minutes at 444 normalized. That's very impressive. And I think it goes to show for me at least that, you know, some of these guys training, you can look at it and go, well, yeah, they are a good one. Um, and then, you know, Pantani, all these ones, they're pretty long as well. Like Montreal 220, you know, they're all at least 190K. So four and a half, five hours. So again very impressive but yeah it's just it's just interesting to see that actually what these guys do in training it you know it, it you can see that they are going to go go well in the future but anyway i hope you did enjoy this quick video and i'll see you in the next one